The speaker is Claire de Cruz from Chennai Institute of Mathematics. And you find the title there, please. <laughs> okay, so I think I have to correct, hold it the right direction. So, okay, so I would like to thank the organizers for organizing this conference and for giving me an opportunity uh, to talk here. Uh, so, this is jo joint work with uh, Mosmi Mandal and J.K. Varma. So, since this is a conference where we uh, remember the work of uh, Hoxton Uniki, I would like to say that uh, our main result is actually the generalization of a result of Uniki. It says that if you take a height 2 prime ideal in a three dimensional regular local ring, then the symbolic Riesz algebra of P is Noetherian if and only if there exists an element x, uh, an element x which is a non zero divisor in R mod P. And you can find two elements, f in the kth symbolic power and g in the lth symbolic power, so that this length function on the left is equal to the one on the right. Okay, so we'll go into a little bit of history of uh, this problem and how it is connected with set theoretic complete intersection. So we say that an ideal i is defined set theoretically by s elements. If up to a radical i is, the, the radical of i is radical of f1, f2, fs. And uh, if S is the height of the ideal, then we say it is a set theoretic complete intersection. And this goes back to the work of Kronecker, where he showed that, uh, uh, okay. uh, goes back to the work of Kronecker, where he showed that if I, you have a affine closed scheme defined by I, sitting in an affine D space, uh, then it can be set theoretically defined by D plus one elements. And there was a question whether people were wondering whether one could improve. And there were several conjectures which came by Forrester, Eisenbody ones and several others. Uh, but then, and there were several partial results, but I would just like to state that the work of Storch in 1972 and Eisenbody ones in 1973 says that you could improve Kronecker's result from D plus one to D. So there were several other results and in the 60s, 70s, there were many interesting results that came up. So then uh, uh, Kaushik and Nori in 1978 proved this wonderful result where they showed that if I is a radical ideal of, of I D minus one, then I is a set theory complete intersection provided the characteristic is P. So this result is not true in, we know in positive characteristic. And since this is a conference on characteristic P, I'd also like to mention the result of Hart shown in 1979, where he proved that this Macaulay's uh, curve, I think I just proceed, that the Macaulay's curve is actually a set theory complete intersection for all D becoming to four provided the characteristic is P. And in characteristic uh, zero for D, for D we go into four, uh, this is still an open problem and people do not know the answer to it. Okay. Okay, so, we have already seen symbolic powers in the. We have already seen symbolic powers in the morning, and we we'll say that if i is an ideal, then the n symbolic power is the intersection of i raised to n r local area p intersection r, where p we can take it to be the associated primes or the minimal primes of r mod i. But in our case, we will be. In our case, we will be uh, looking at radical ideals. So in this case, both the definitions are the same. And then the symbolic Riesz algebra of I is nothing but the direct sum of all these symbolic powers. Now, uh, Kaushik put a, proved an interesting result, uh, which gives a relation between the uh, symbolic Riesz algebra and set theoretic complete intersection. And he showed that if you have a prime ideal of height d minus one, okay, in a Nodian local ring, then if the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian, 
then it is a stoichiometric complete intersection. And this proof is actually characteristic free. And there were several results on several stoichiometric complete intersection, but an exact generalization of Kaushik's result was not known. And so in a joint work with Mandel and Verma, we give a generalization, not just to, so Kaushik's result was for height uh, p equal to d minus 1. So even for d minus 2, d minus 3, or lower heights, there was no result known. So we generalize it to an ideal i. But the only thing is we need the condition that r mod a symbolic n is co-macaulay for n large. So under that condition, we can generalize this result, and we show that if the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian, the first thing is the analytic spread of a symbolic k is same as the height of a symbolic k for some k bigger than to 1. And in this case, uh, the ideal A is a set theoretic complete intersection. Now, uh, we know that uh, there are examples where uh, if we drop our assumption that uh, our assumption that R mod I symbolic N is not Cohen Macaulay, then the, our result is not true. And these examples were studied, first one by Eisenberg and Evans, and uh, the second was by Schenzel and Vogel. And the first one actually uses, it's not a very easy proof, it uses Hartshorn's connectedness theorem. In the second example, Shenzhen and Vogel came across a whole bunch of infinitely many examples of uh, varieties in a projective space which are not theoretic complete intersection. And this was the simplest example on that. And even there we see that R mod I symbolic n is not Cohen Macaulay for all n going to 1. And so we cannot drop that assumption in our result. So th in some sense, this is probably the best result we can get. So then uh, to prove that result, one of, the in, in, uh, one of the important results that we need to prove the, uh, the theoretic complete intersection as well as our later result is this lemma, which states that if you have an ideal i, so the dimension of r mod a is s, and r mod i n is Cohen macaulay fall n big to 1. So this is a very important thing. And this in some sense was an obstruction to generalizing the results. And uh, once we have this result, it seems to be, uh, we cannot really uh, drop these assumptions. And so it says that if we can find x1, x2, xs elements, so that they form a regular sequence in the associated graded ring. Uh, uh, no, uh, so suppose R mod i n is Cohen macaulay then we can find x1, x2, xs, which is a regular sequence in the associated graded ring, and x1, x2, xs is R regular. So this is a very important, uh, crucial step. And then the second part we get is dimension of R mod A is dimension R minus height A. Uh, so we just quickly look at the proof. Once we have these assumptions, then using the previous lemma, we get dimension of R mod I is dimension R minus height I. Then we use the hilbert Birch theorem. And because of I, we say that an is bounded over by D minus infimum of depth of R mod I N. And then our assumptions give that it is equal to height. But then we know that this proves that equality holds and has an anti spread of A symbolic K same as height of IK. And this gives us the fact, from this we get that our ideal A is a set theoretic complete intersection. Okay, so it, it, is, it, is, uh, it is well known that uh, the symbolic Riesz algebra is not Noetherian and we have these examples. Last week, uh, Supriyo gave an example of Riesz where the symbolic Riesz algebra was not Noetherian, and we also have the example of Nagata and the example of Roberts, which says that the symbolic Riesz algebra in general is not Noetherian. Okay. So I would like to mention the, that how the characteristic plays a very important role. And so if you have this monomial curve, uh, affine monomial curve of degree 7 and minus 3, pi and minus 2 times n, and 8 and minus 3, then if the characteristic of the P is Characteristic of the field is P, then the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian but not Cohen Macaulay, and if characteristic is zero, then the symbolic Riesz algebra is not Noetherian. So it uh, says that it's so much, very much dependent on the character, and this was proved by Goto, Nishida, and Watanabe in 1994. And the result of Brzezinski and Azog also proved it is unpublished work, says that all affine curves in A3 are set theoretic complete intersection. So this says that the converse of Cauchy's theorem is not true. If the symbolic Riesz algebra is uh, Noetherian, then it's a theoretic complete intersection. But the huh? 
Which one? Huh? Yeah, because Brzezinski uh, in his paper writes that it Arzog knew the proof, but he has not published it. The same result, yes, but he has not published it. Okay, so then in nine, uh, so then there was no result known uh, how to really show that the uh, symbolic uh, Reese algebra is Nodirian. And so in 1987, Uniki came up with this interesting way of uh, telling uh, how do you show that the symbolic Reese algebra is Nodirian. Because if you know that the symbolic Reese algebra is Nodirian, then the ideal is a set theoretic complete intersection. However, this does not ease the problem. Even finally, so. Uh, Unique showed that if you are in a regular local ring and I is a height ideal of a piece of prime ideal of height 2, then the symbolic Reese algebra of P is Noetherian. If and only if you can find these elements F in P symbolic K, G in P symbolic L, and X in M minus P such that this equality holds true. But in general, finding these elements F and G itself is not very easy. I mean, they, it is quite a difficult problem. And nevertheless, uh, many people uh, worked on this afterwards. This gave sort of an incentive for people to work on the uh, on the symbolic Reese algebra, and not only to work to show the Nadirian property, but also the Cohen Macaulay and the Gordon-Steele property. So we had several people uh, working on it. But before that, I would like to uh, state that Morales in 1991 generalized this result to any. Uh, any ring of dimension d bigger than or equal to 3, uh, but under the assumptions that uh, the ring is analytically unramified, formally equidimensional. So this is a generalization of Unique's result. And in 1994, Goto gave a further generalization, where for the necessary part, he drops the assumptions of Morales. But for the converse, he needs the fact that R is an unmixed local ring. So this was the best generalization of Unique's result that was known for many uh, years. And then we, uh, so I'd just like to mention this, before we state our result, I'd just like to mention, though there were several results known, uh, Unique in the same paper in which he gave the criteria for the Nodirianness also showed, uh, he considered the Mohr curve. And so these Mohr curves, are very interesting because there are still some more curves for which the the problem is open. We do not know whether the symbolic Reese algebra is Noetherian. And Unique uh, showed that if you have the more curve which is parameterized in this way, then the symbolic Reese algebra is Noetherian, and uh, it p is a, so p is a set theoretic complete intersection. So, but then there are other more curves for which the problem is still open. And so then, uh, uh, yeah, so I'd just like to mention uh, that there are not many examples known in higher dimension where the symbolic Reese algebra is not here. So uh, in uh, Goto, in his paper in 1994, in his memoirs, showed that if you take the monomial curve, which is given by an arithmetic progression, then the symbolic Reese algebra is not here. And with the joint work with Sri Devi, we actually could find these generators of the symbolic powers. So this J2, JD minus 1 are the extra generators you need for the symbolic powers. And then uh, for D equal to 3, 4, Goto showed that the symbolic Reese algebra is Cohen Macaulay. And in a joint work with Sri Devi, we showed that for all D bigger to 2, we can show that. So we this was open for D bigger to 5. Goto raised this question. And we showed that for D bigger to 4, uh, the symbolic Reese algebra is always Cohen Macaulay. How do you choose? I, I two are elements, ideals. These are ideals. These are ideals. So each I2, I3, ID minus are ideals. So we know exactly what those generators are. Okay, so then we have a, a generalization of Unique's, uh, Unique's uh, Morales and Goto's result. And this is joint work with uh, Mosmi Mandal and J.K. Varma. And here we show that if you have an ideal I, which is a positive height, and at most B minus 1, and such that R modulo 
I sim A symbolic M is Cohen Macaulay, then and the symbolic result is Nodigian, then we can find elements x1, x2, xd minus h, which is a non zero device in R mod i, and in fact is a regular sequence in R, and then we can find this elements f1, f2, fh, which are in certain symbolic powers. So, that this equation on the last line holds true. This is an exact generalization. If you uh, put the conditions uh, that R is a regular local ring and height 2 ideal, then we get the exact version of Unity's theorem. Now, uh, uh, using that uh, previous lemma, one can actually choose CS element. So, I will not go into this. And then once you plug it, you just put in, in the uh, multiplicity formula and get the result. So, the difficulty was actually finding the right way of the right way of getting these elements x1, x2, xd minus h and f1, f2, fh. In choosing those elements very carefully in the right way, that was the most difficult part. Once you do that, you just plug in and you get the multiplicity formula. So now uh, for the converse, for the converse we doesn't like in the version of GoTo, we need to assume that Rm is a quasi unmixed local ring and I is an ideal of height h and suppose you can find elements x1, x2, xd minus h which is a system of parameters R mod I A and if you can find this elements Fi in the symbolic powers so that the conditions 1, 2 and 3 of the previous theorem mold 2 and the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian. And for this part, we need uh, to use two important results. One is uh, the result of Goto, Hermann, Nishitma, and Willemar. It says that if the symbolic Riesz algebra is of I is Noetherian, if and only if the analytic spread of I symbolic K is same as height of I symbolic K for some K greater to 1. So the way we choose our elements, actually the proof is a little long. I cannot spell the proof. But uh, we get this condition that n square of i k is i to i k. And the next thing we need to use is the result of Voyager, which says that uh, j is a reduction of i if and only if multiplicity of i symbolic p is j multiplicity of j symbolic p for every prime ideal p for which radical of i is radical of j. Now, this proof is quite involved and needs some work. So, I, uh, so I will not state, I will just say that we need these two results to get our results. And uh, I mean, this example and the next example say that we just cannot drop the assumption. If we drop either the assumption on the height or if we drop the assumption that our ring is quasi unmixed, then you can take it off. If you drop the assumptions, if you drop the assumptions that either the height i is uh, on the height of the ideal, then we have an example where the conditions are satisfied, but the symbolic Riesz algebra is not Noetherian. And the next example says that if we drop the condition that R is a quasi unmixed local ring, then even though we have this exam, this element x1, which is a non zero device in R mod i, and we have this element f1, so the x1, x1 is system parameters, this equation is satisfied, but the symbolic Riesz algebra is not Noetherian. So, this is the best possible result that we can get. Now, uh, in the remaining time, I would like to go through the examples because the examples are the more difficult thing to get, especially when you go from prime ideal to non prime ideal. So, our first example we take is the, uh, is a, we take a graph which is a complete graph and we look at the edge ideal of a complete graph. Okay, so, since this is the edge ideal is defined by monomials, uh, it is well, it has a E. B. Chung in 2007 showed that if you have monomial ideas, then the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian. So they use different techniques. And uh, using our result, we can show that if A is the edge ideal, then the R mod A symbolic K is Cohen Macaulay for all K becoming to 1. And then uh, the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian and A is a set theoretic complete intersection. So here we use the elementary uh, symmetric functions. So, the first elementary symmetric function which is sum of all the variables is actually a non-zero device on R mod A symbolic K that works as an element and for the remaining elements F1, F2, Fn minus Y they are in the right symbolic powers 
And so this uh, sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma n forms a system of parameters in our ring R. And this gives us both that our symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian as well as it is a set theoretic complete intersection. A second example we took is more from geometry. And uh, this is the what is called the Fermat ideal. And this came uh, in, con in connection with the containment problem. People were interested in some uh, results, uh, some questions on the containment problem, which were raised by Uniki, Harbone, and Bucci, and several others. And this gave a counter example to the containment problem, to one of the questions. And the first one for d equal to 3 was done by Duniki, Schemberg, and I Gassinka. And this is for d equal to, for n equal to 3, and for n bigger than or equal to 3, it was studied by Nagel and Selesenu. And Nagel and Alexandria showed that the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian. They use a very involved methods to show that symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian. We show that using our method, we can very quickly show that the symbolic Riesz algebra locally is Noetherian. I'm sure it will give us the graded case also, but we all only need to find the right elements. So if you choose x1 to be x plus 5 plus z, that is a non-zero divisor in R mod I symbolic n for all n. And then if you choose f1 to be R sn minus 2t minus 2 times R sn minus 2, and f2 to be this equation, then x1, f1, f2 forms a system of parameters. So we have the right elements, and this shows that the symbolic Riesz algebra is Noetherian, as well as the fact that A is a set theoretic complete intersection. And the third example again comes from geometry. So we take this uh, uh, curve, uh, not the curve, we take this hypersurface, and we look at the Jacobian of it. So ideal I is the Jacobian of F, and this is one interesting example because it is height d minus 2. The previous examples were height d minus 1. This is height d minus 2. And so it is not very easy to get examples of height d minus 2. And so A is a height 2 ideal in a four-dimensional polynomial ring. And we sh R mod A symbolic n is Cohen Macaulay for n becoming to 1. And then if we choose our elements, now we need to choose two elements, which are non-zero devices in R mod A. And so x and z work as our non-zero devices. Uh, g1, g2, g3 are the generators of our ideal. If we take f1 to be g1 plus g3 and f2 to be f, then f1 is in the ideal itself. f2 is in the second symbolic power of the ideal. And so one can check all those equations are satisfied. And so we get the symbolic Riesz algebra of A is Noetherian, and A is a set theoretic complete intersection. So this completes the proof. And